Shall we begin? Let's begin. Let's get this thing in the water. Hello, and welcome to On the Patio with Mr. D. Hey, we've got a whole slew of product reviews and kayaking tips and tricks and um, photography uses on a kayak and especially on an inflatable kayak. We're going to be reviewing all these different products and these different uh, kayaks and, and where to go and what to do and how to play with them and all that kind of stuff like that. So, hey, we're going to get started here shortly, but before you do, please, if you like our videos, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So hey, we'll be back in just a bit. Let's begin. Hello and welcome to On the Patio with Mr. D. Hey, today we're being hosted by Accent Paddles. Uh, and I'll get into that here in just a couple of minutes. If you realize back on a couple of uh, videos before this, I was out on a place called Lake Dora doing a review. Uh, for Paddling Places Florida and all that kind of stuff. And at the end, I said, hey, I got a surprise for y'all. And I didn't want to announce it then. Well, the surprise is here. I've got it. I'm ready to get out and give this thing a test. And I want to share this with you guys. And I really think this could revolutionize the kayaking market. Welcome to Accent Advantage Grip Technology, bringing the benefits of bench shaft technology to everyone on a straight shaft. It's ergonomic in design, comfortable rubber material promotes proper hand placement, and the results aligns the wrist to ergonomic position, alleviates stress and strain on joints, and promotes a more relaxed grip. The standard bench shaft has a seven degree bend. The Advantage Grip gives you the same thing on a straight shaft. Let's look at the kayaking market. I'll tell you what, we're flooded with kayaks. I mean, there's all kinds of different brand names, different lengths. You have 16s, you've got uh, 14s, 12s, 10s, 8s. You've got uh, whitewater kayaks, sea kayaks, uh, recreational kayaks, uh, inflatables, sit on top, sit ins. I mean, it goes on and on and on and on and on. But they all have one thing that they need, and that's a good paddle. So again, the market is flooded with that. I mean, you look anywhere, uh, there's everything from uh, $10 box store paddles that'll last you maybe one or two times. But if you're just a, a weekend paddler, an uh, aluminum shaft, they weigh a ton, all that kind of stuff like that. But if you're very serious in your kayaking and you really want to have a nice paddle, well, there's things like Aquabound, uh, Werner, uh, Sawyer, Accent. Um, let me see what else we got out there. Uh, bending branches. Uh, there, uh, Hobie puts out a paddle, and all of them have one characteristic that, uh, that I choose, and that's carbon fiber to keep it lightweight. But they all have one thing in common. They're all straight shaft. Now, if you're interested in a bent shaft technology, you're going to pay for that. I mean, like $450 and up for a bent shaft uh, paddle. Now, bent shaft paddles have a 7-degree bend so you're basically like this, all right? Well, Accent came up with an idea which I think will revolutionize this whole industry, and they've come out with their Advantage Grip technology, which has a seven degree lift right here, and it's like handling a bent shaft on a straight shaft paddle. Now, what a great idea this is. This is lightweight, it is, has a smaller shaft than normal, because what I found out is I found out about these grips through a friend and I contacted the company and said, are these available to be put on other uh, paddles like Sawyer? I have a Sawyer uh, laminate. Uh, I also have a Werner and Aquabound and I list goes on and on and on. But they said based on the shaft size that they're only available on the Accent paddles. So Accent asked me to go ahead and do a review. This is the energy carbon paddle that they put out. This thing is great. It weighs in at 33.1 ounces. 
and I think the additional weight is because of the uh, the splash guards because they, they say on their specs that it's 29 ounces but you add the splash guards it could easily go up to 33 this thing is a phenomenal paddle by the feel now I haven't tested it yet we're gonna go out on the water today and we're gonna give this a thorough test I'm gonna put cameras on both ends one pointing at the front of the blade right here and one uh, pointing at the edge of the blade which will be sitting this way so you guys can get an idea of the entry and exit of the paddle and how well it performs now at the end of the field test I will do a full wrap up back here on the patio so hey we're gonna get ready to do this so let's get out on the water hey guys welcome to our field test out here on the water we're looking at the accent advantage technology grip on this particular paddle now this paddle is really light it's made of carbon and the claim to fame here is it has a seven degree lift bend in the grips giving you the bent shaft feel without the bent shaft price so we're going to test it out here on the water here and uh, give you some idea of how it uh, goes into the water we got cameras on each end here so we're going to check all this kind of stuff out so hey we'll be back in a little bit Hey guys, I've been out here on the water with this outstanding paddle. I mean, I'm loving this. I thought I heard a gator. Let me give you a look at this grip. Now, it's permanently affixed onto the paddle. The paddle shaft is uh, smaller than a standard paddle shaft. Um, and I was advised of this. This is the Energy Carbon Advantage Grip technology right here. Here's the bench shaft, a seven degree lift right here. And that is just really, really cool. And uh, it took me a little bit to get used to it, but what I did find out, it, it does force you to use proper hand placement. And that's not a negative word, it's a positive word. So hey, we're gonna continue this paddle because I'm enjoying the heck out of this. This thing pushes a lot of water. Uh, you can use low profile or high profile paddling. It doesn't matter. It's designed for both which is really smart. Um, it's lightweight. I mean, like I said, it weighed in at 33.1 ounces. Um, I just like the way it feels. I mean, it, it really moves some water. And that's what I'm liking about this thing. And it, it's comfortable. Uh, I have no stress or strain on my wrists at all. And that's their claim to fame here. And let me tell you something, uh, bench shafts go start at about $450 and up. Here's the same technology for a whole lot less. And it feels the same as a bench shaft. I have used a bench shaft. Um, this has the same feel. And you can, so you can get the benefits from a bench shaft with this accent. Uh, energy carbon or check out their entire line of paddles uh, I'm telling you this is a definitely a keeper uh, they sent me the energy carbon for review so I want to tell you that I did not pay for this I'm being asked to review this product anybody that follows my channel knows that I am very honest and I'm unbiased if the product is crap I'll say so and show its shortcomings and all this kind of stuff Honest with you guys, I have not been able to find any shortcomings on this whatsoever. So, it's a great paddle. Hey guys, we're about ready to wrap this thing up. Uh, we're not that far away from our launch site. And the lake is getting windy and choppy out here. And that's a good thing because I'm able to test uh, the Accent paddle in all kinds of different conditions. Now, I did a power pull 
and I heard no creaks, cracks, nothing. And I mean, I was pulling with everything I had to hear if I could hear any creaks. And it was absolutely none. This is soundly made. Uh, I really like the way the Advantage Grip works, giving me that feel of a bent shaft on a straight shaft. And I have paddled a few miles now, and uh, it's like I haven't paddled anything. There is no fatigue, no nothing. This thing is uh, really outstanding. So anyway, we're gonna wrap this thing up. Uh, we'll talk to you a little bit more on the patio as we uh, give our final thoughts. We'll be back in a little bit. Well, hey guys, we just got back from field testing this thing out on the lake. And let me tell you, this thing blew me away. I was totally impressed with this. Now, one of the things uh, I had to get used to right away was this seven degree lift and it forced me to have the proper placement of my hands. And I mean forced in a positive word, not as a negative. I'll tell you what, I was pushing water, uh, moving right along. It was like I didn't even have a paddle in my hands. The uh, seven degree lift on this particular grip made my paddle so comfortable that it actually made me have a better and more improved stroke, which surprised the heck out of me. Uh, they have this kingpin connection. You have the little blue button right here. You just press that and then it's broken down to where you can adjust your furl uh, degrees right there. And you just put it in here, line it up where you want it with the arrow, with the numeric value over here, and then click, you're all done. And that thing is in. Now again, this is a smaller circumferential shaft, but it's carbon and you're not going to hurt it. Now I'll tell you, out there on the water, I tested it. I pulled as hard as I could pull, and I was in some chop later, later on in the day. It got windy out there, and the chop star comes, so I was fighting against the wind, and I was digging really hard with this. I got no creaks, no cracks, no pops, no nothing. This thing just performed flawlessly. This is a great paddle, guys. The greatest thing about this paddle, other than its great sleek design, I love the way the paddles are, are formed up. They got uh, a nice spoon into them. They're really, really nice. I mean, there was no fatigue. There was no shoulder problems. There was nothing. I just put my hands on that seven degrees like having a bench shaft, and I just paddled right along. And I'll tell you what, it was effortless to cut through that water. Also, there was absolutely zero flutter. And I tried, I tried really hard to get this paddle to flutter in the water and it did not do it well hey guys this is a excellent paddle uh, check it out for yourself but I would highly recommend that you try this out this is phenomenal you put your hand right on that seven degree lift and you are in the proper place to go paddling and for beginners or advanced it doesn't matter this thing does a spectacular job so hey we'll see you on the next one Next one.